Hey everybody, what is going on? So in this video, let's talk about more IP coming to Disney parks. Yes, sir, you heard me correctly. More IP coming to Disney parks. So I did a video the other day, link up above in regards to Jim Hill and the Disney Diz podcast and his rumor of Galaxy Z, right? But within that podcast, there was a lot of other news that broke. And this is one of them. I'm going to read you like a little synopsis of it, and then we're going to discuss it. So it says here, the four Disney animation shows for Disney Plus are designed to launch with attractions for those specific properties. This is part of Chapek's IP-driven initiative for the parks, tying in new animated films into the parks. Okay, so just to give you a little context here, the four shows that we're referring to are Baymax, based on Big Hero 6, Tiana, based on Princess and the Frog, Moana, and Zootopia. Okay, those are the four shows. All right, so I guess this is part of an IP-driven initiative. Now, here's the thing. This is like, in my opinion, and no disrespect to Jim Hill or anything, I, I, I appreciate his work and everything like that, but I mean, this is kind of a non-news story, in my opinion. Look, Disney, had, from day one, has always been a synergy machine, okay? It, it's always been that way. You know, when, when Walt Disney was, was building Disneyland, he named the, the icon of the park, Sleeping Beauty, you know, Sleeping Beauty's castle, to promote the upcoming film, Sleeping Beauty. You know, the lands were very carefully crafted to promote his film and TV, um, you know, series. You know, Adventureland was was based on his True Life Adventures uh, series on TV. The uh, Frontierland was a place where he can have his, uh, you know, was, um, you know, Davy Crockett franchise. Fantasyland was an area where he can put in his fairy tales, you know, Snow White, Dumbo, you know, things like Peter Pan. So Disneyland has always been the synergy machine back even when Walt was alive. You know, and really, I mean, if, if that was the part of the sticking point for P.T. Travers in, in regard to her reluctance to selling the, 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 the Mary Poppins rights to Walt Disney. He didn't, she didn't want Mary Poppins to become just another brick in his castle, so to speak. He, you know, she, she didn't want it to become just another franchise. So this whole IP thing has been going on since the beginning. Walt Disney pioneered the art form. He was not like some indie filmmaker who hated franchises and didn't want to sell out. He wrote the book on franchises and synergy. Okay. So this whole news that like, oh, wow, you know, Disney now, they're going to start to make attractions based on films and their animated and their animated features and their shows. Oh, my gosh. Really, I mean, that's, that's not news. That's not really news. I mean, look, even back in the Eisner era, you, you saw that. I mean, I, I'm old enough to remember, like, every time Disney Animation had a new film, whether it be Mulan or Hercules, Aladdin, Lion King, whatever it may be, a Hunchback of Notre Dame, they always had a new parade or a new show for that new feature. Okay, this, this, this has been going on for a very, very long time. So... Yeah, I don't really see the newsworthiness here. Um, and, I, and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it because it's kind of always been there. You know, now I will concede that like since Bob Iger, there's been like an obsession with IP. I mean, we haven't seen anything else. I mean, at least with like Michael Eisner, we saw some nuggets of like original stuff, right? Like with Expedition Everest, even like DCA 1.0, love it or hate it. It was still mostly original. Um, like Rocket Rods, again, love it or hate it, but it was still mostly original. We saw these nuggets of originality, but with Bob Iger, ever since Bob Iger, we really haven't seen that. It's been IP, 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 IP. And I, I understand maybe the frustration with some fans. I'm a nerd. I, I'm a nerd too. I would love to see some original content original stuff being built at Disney parks. I would love to see like, you know, California Adventure get like a Mystic Manor type of attraction themed to like the Winchester Mystery House or something really cool like that. But look, the reality of the situation is Disney and really the industry as a whole, they're moving in an IP direction. That's the industry right now. Love it or hate it, that's the industry right now. It's not just Disney, it's Universal, it's all these parks, okay? 
So that's the kind of the reality that we live in and that's what we have to deal with. And really just because a, an attraction is based on an IP doesn't necessarily mean it's bad, right? I mean, you have one of the best attractions, one of the, 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 the greatest attractions of all time, whether it be Disney or otherwise, with the Indiana Jones adventure. Okay, and that's based on obviously on an IP, Star Tours, another phenomenal attraction, an icon, okay, based on, again, an IP, even Splash Mountain, the original Splash Mountain was based on an IP. All these attractions really, you know, it's all about the execution. It's all about the execution, how it's done. Is it a quality execution? That's really all that matters at the end of the day. Okay, you can have an original idea like the rocket rods and have it done really, really cheap and have it suck. But then you can have an, uh, like Indiana Jones Adventure, which is based on an IP and have it done really, really well. So the, it really doesn't matter whether it's IP or original at the end of the day. It's all about the execution, right? But that's why I stand on it. But yeah, this news is really not really news in my opinion, unless there's something I'm missing in this Okay, Disney is going to start making rides based on animated content. Wow, that's I mean, it doesn't really sound that groundbreaking to me because they've been doing this since day one. But what do you guys think about this? Am I totally wrong? Am I missing something? What are your feelings? Do you not like the IP? Do you agree with me that IP is okay as long as it's done well? What are your feelings on this? I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And as always, have a magical magical day. Bye-bye now.